Robots aren't just walking around anymore. They're being kicked, punched, even attacked with chainsaws, and somehow they're fighting back. Around the world, humanoids are leveling up in ways that feel both inspiring and unsettling. From lifelike faces that mimic human emotions to open source machines flipping through kung fu routines, this is the future of robotics. And China? It's already running over 2 million AI robots inside its factories, assembling trucks in minutes and coordinating like swarms. Let's break it down. First up, Unitree's G1. Engineers literally tried to beat this robot down, and it just wouldn't fall. Instead of collapsing like older humanoids, the G1 predicts impact, braces itself, and either lands smoothly or sidesteps like an athlete. Packed with depth cameras, LiDAR, and joint motors acting like muscles, this bot reacts in real time. In one clip, it absorbs a kick by bending its knees instantly, then springs back up, lifting its 77-pound body with ease. Even sliding kicks and double shoves couldn't stop it, because the G1 constantly recalculates balance. At around $16,000, it's surprisingly affordable compared to rivals. And Unitree isn't stopping here. The CEO announced a 1.8-meter full-size humanoid launching later this year. With China's robotics market already growing at explosive double-digit rates, Unitree is positioning itself at the front of a global boom. Meanwhile, a company called Aheadform is taking a different approach by making robots look creepily human. Their ELF series heads blink naturally, shift expressions, and even glance around with subtle movements that trigger an uncanny sense of realism. The secret is brushless motors designed for facial control, capable of tiny, muscle-like motions. One of their newest prototypes, Zuan, combines AI learning with bionic actuation to create eerily lifelike interactions. The founder believes that in 10 years, robots will feel almost human in conversation, and in 20 years, they'll move like us. Now this one shocked everyone. Skilled AI ran a brutal demo where engineers attacked a robotic dog with a chainsaw, cutting off its legs. And yet, the robot kept moving. Why? Because instead of being trained for one body, Skilled's omni-bodied brain learned across 100,000 robot designs. That means it can adapt, whether it's missing wheels, broken legs, or a totally new frame. Researchers see this as an early spark of true intelligence robots that don't just follow scripts, but strategize no matter what body they're in. Over in Shanghai, Fourier's N1 humanoid stunned audiences with cartwheels and kung fu spins. This 1.3 meter, 38-kilogram humanoid is lightweight, runs for over two hours, and sprints at 3.5 meters per second. What makes it stand out is being open source. Anyone, from universities to hobbyists, can buy assembly kits or ready-built units and experiment. This positions Fourier alongside Unitree, Tesla's Optimus, and Boston Dynamics Atlas. Poland's Clone Robotics is taking a biomechanical path. Their prototype, Protoclone, looks unsettling, like a suspended body twitching on cables. But beneath the creepy design is groundbreaking tech. Fluidic muscles powered by a compact hydraulic pump, mimicking human tendons and ligaments. Their next model, Neoclone, will even feature synthetic skin for delicate tasks. Zooming out, China is deploying robots at a staggering pace. Over 2 million industrial units, more than the rest of the world combined. Ten years ago, there were just 49 robots per 10,000 workers. Today, 470. Backed by the Made in China 2025 initiative, robots now fold clothes, prep food, and even assemble electric trucks in just 15 minutes. Some models compute at 550 trillion operations per second, enabling swarm coordination across 5G networks. Analysts warn this growth could displace millions of human jobs within five years, as semi-automated lines evolve into fully intelligent systems. So that's where we stand. Robots that take kicks, mimic emotions, survive chainsaws, flip like athletes, and quietly build entire industries. It's exciting, terrifying, and happening faster than most people realize. What do you think? Is this the start of a robotic revolution? or a future we should be worried about? Drop your thoughts. Comments below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.